Hi, this is Naresh from livingwithnlp.com. In this video, we are going to talk about four pillars of NLP, which are going to be helpful to you as a NLP practitioner. So, why should we know about these pillars of success? The answer is excellence. They help you become excellent practitioner of NLP. Let's start and find out what these four pillars of success in NLP are. The first pillar is outcome thinking. A good NLP practitioner always gives the outcome that is desired from the techniques in his mind. The success of NLP techniques is defined by the ability to achieve the desired outcome. If you are not sure whether your NLP techniques were successful or not, confirm with the client whether his outcome is achieved or not. The next pillar is sensory acuity. As an NLP practitioner, you should always keep on enhancing your sensory acuity. When you are employing techniques or communicating, the client's physiology will give you a lot of hints. You have to keep your senses open in order to detect these hints readily and easily. This ability to detect change easily and readily is called sensory acuity. The more sensory acuity you have, the more is the effectiveness of your techniques. The next pillar is repo. It is very very important to be in repo with the client when you are doing the techniques on him. As per Wikipedia, rapport is a close and harmonious relationship in which people or groups concerned understand each other's feelings or ideas and communicate well. Rapport is power. If the client is coming in rapport with you, then it increases your chances of success and vice versa. The next pillar is behavioral flexibility. You have to be flexible with respect to approach that you are using with the client. If one approach is not working, you use another approach. Every individual is unique. So if phobia cure is working on one client, it does not mean that it will work on all the clients. You have to maintain flexibility. Thank you very much for watching this video and I will see you in next video.